Здравствуйте, меня зовут... My name is Айгерим Мусагажинова. I am an ethnographer. For more than 15 years I've studied Kazakh traditional culture and in particular native Kazakh cuisine. I have organized dozens of research expeditions to identify the oldest recipes of Kazakh traditional cuisine. To date, I have managed to record recipes and cooking techniques for about 1,500 dishes. I have calculated the nutritional value of these dishes and described the cooking techniques. Silkway TV channel audience has a unique opportunity. I will explain and show how to prepare these ancient dishes at home. Kazakh cuisine has three main components. These are meat, dairy and grain products. We all know that for every nation bread is the most important food. And today we will prepare the traditional Kazakh dish Katarmanan. Katarmanan has been included in the UNESCO list of intangible cultural heritage. Each region of Kazakhstan prepares it in its special way. For example, in the south of Kazakhstan, this type of bread is called zhukpanan and is usually prepared in the spring because it completely replaces meat dishes in terms of its nutritional value. The main ingredients of this bread are flour, salt and water. This is why this bread can be stored for six months. In the spring, elder women gather and prepare this bread together, taking care of the health of their family. Now we will prepare the dough. Before cooking, women always used to put on their silver jewelry. It is believed that silver has cleansing properties. Be sure to mix the flour with your hand a little, so it will be enriched with oxygen. I remember when my grandmother used to knead the dough. I would always ask her, why are you wearing your jewelry? And she always said that we protect our family with jewelry. The water should be room temperature. Add it and knead. Add just a pinch of salt. The dough should not be too hard. It should be quite soft. So, we prepare the dough. It's nice and stretchy. We need to let it sit for a while. Here is the ready dough. Let's let it sit for a while. When women needed the dough, they always made good wishes. Since all good things get to us through food. Our dough is ready. And we need to let it sit for some time.
Our doll has risen. We kneaded a little again and divided into equal parts. The pieces should be small. Like this. Their size depends on how many servings you will make. And we roll these pieces into round flatbreads. They should be thin. This will make the bread very crispy. Each housewife makes it her own way. But I want to point out, dear friends, that the shape of each bread should be perfectly round. Back in the day, elder women would judge how skilled the woman in this house was by looking at how she prepared this type of bread, how round she made the flatbreads. This is how the finished flatbread should look like. We bake it on a dry pot. Distribute it evenly. Don't use oil or butter. Don't add anything. We wait until the dough sets. Using such circular motions, move it around the pot. The preparations for katarmanan are done. When women used to prepare this type of bread in the spring, they wrapped it in white calico. Every woman was sure that this bread would retain its original freshness until the fall. How many dishes do you think can be prepared from these pre-prepared items? I'll show you. Using just one, you can prepare two full-fledged dishes. Let us prepare khatarmanan in its dry form. Let's take boiling water, wet it a little, and the next one, like this, one by one. prepared melted butter. Do you know that melted butter is actually ghee? It is very good for the body. Ghee is also a central ingredient in almost all dishes. We need for our flatbreads to soak in the ghee. I want to say that the katarmanan completely replaces a meat dish in the terms of its nutritional value. And this is how we form the dish. Women made such flatbreads and treated their children to them. Yeah, 
We have prepared our dish and now we can season it with a little ghee. You can also sprinkle it with a little of fried eremshik. Which is cheese. In the end, we get such a hearty dish. Which people usually served in the spring to welcome their guests. I said earlier that you can prepare several dishes from one pre-made dough. From what is left from the Khatarmanan, we will prepare the first course. Break the bread into small pieces. Older women assure that if you drink this soup on an empty stomach in the morning, you can go without eating anything at all for the whole day. The result was a light and tasty soup, very rich in vitamins. Here is our pre-made dough. Add just a tablespoon of ghee, a little salt, boiling water, and homemade fresh kefir. And of course, you can add some kurt to make it tastier. And so, we made this rich jokpa kujie, which is very good for your health. I recommend consuming it every day from spring to autumn. This is the healthy cuisine of nomads. This concludes today's episode. I'm not saying goodbye, but inviting you to the next delicious journey into the history of Kazakhstan. See you again.